Hello and welcome to Community Chats. I'm your host, Ali Hammer, and today we're interviewing Rory San Miguel, the CEO and co-founder of Propeller Aero. Rory, thanks so much for joining us today. Can you start by telling us about Propeller Aero and the fascinating work that you do in the commercial drone industry? Yeah, no problem. Hey, Ali. Um, so Propeller makes a suite of products, some hardware and some software to help construction sites, mines, quarries and landfills map their worksite and figure out how much material they're moving on a daily basis. So, you know, earth moving turns out to be a really big industry and, um, and, and our software, our technology helps our customers figure out how much they're moving and when they're going to finish and, um, you know, sort of all these productivity and progress metrics that help them run their sites more efficiently. Wow, it's so interesting to hear how new technology is helping reshape traditional industries. And for our viewers that may not understand how Propeller Aero works, can you tell us some more about how you use the cloud to collect, process, and visualize survey data? Yeah, totally. So we um, we actually sell our customers a drone, like an off-the-shelf drone, some hardware that we produce with very accurate GPS positioning technology, and some software. Uh, our customers can use those three things in the field, in their customer work sites. Essentially, they get the drone, they fly it over the work site in a lawnmower style pattern, capture lots of images. And then we take all those images, they upload them to our cloud. We process all that data together into large 3D and very accurate maps. And put all that data back on our sort of big application, web application, and our customers can log in and see the site in 3D and visualize it uh, and then start measuring so they can you know, circle around the stockpile, um, figure out how much materials in the stockpile, they can measure distances and angles and slopes, uh, they can track change over time. So that's really how it works. There's a capture phase, there's a processing phase, and then there's an analysis phase and sort of propeller helps our customers do all of that in one spot. Wow, what an amazing concept. And Rory, how has Propeller Aero been able to use your innovative platform to actually benefit your customers? Yeah, I, um, I go back to this story a lot, but uh, one of our customers was saying how <clears throat> they're an earthworks contractor. So as the construction process goes, there's a, a period at the start where all the ground is being reformed. Uh, let's say that they're subdividing some land. Once the earthworks contractor is finished, maybe the utilities contractors come in and install the sewerage and the um, water and electricity. So there are all these stages and the earthworks um, contractor that's our customer was Previously, it was just doing all their work and then they'd be kind of done and they'd leave the site. And since they got propeller, they've been capturing the state of the site every week, um, including when they leave. So they've got this kind of snapshot of what the site looks like uh, at the point at which they left um, the site. They got an, a variance bill, like a, a, essentially a change order from the client, their client saying, hey, you left all of this material and this rubbish on the site that you're going to need to come and move. And they said, no, it wasn't us. They kind of ended up in this argument back and forth and they realized they could use propeller pull up the data, show them what the site looked like on this particular date. That turned into a one and a half million dollar saving for that customer because it was that much material that they were going to have to move. So one and a half million bucks worth of dispute has been essentially solved by, you know, objective and easy data. And I suppose for us, you know, we need to keep making our products easy to use and easy to capture this data because the easier it is, the more it's going to be captured, the more it's going to be captured the better chance we have of catching more mistakes like that on the work site on a daily basis. Wow, what a fantastic story and a great benefit to your customers. I mean, that's a huge saving and we're really proud to help support Propeller huge Aero saving. in your cloud journey. So Rory, Propeller Aero is always innovating. Can you share with us what are your future plans? Because I feel like you've done so much already. What's next? One product we're working on right now is um, what we're calling Dirtmate. And Dirtmate is a GPS sensor that magnets onto every earth moving machine. So we're actually going to try and map the, the work site in real time. So instead of capturing all these images and processing them over, say, a 12 hour period and then uploading back to the cloud, we think that there's an opportunity to literally put the GPS on each machine. And as it's moving around the site, figure out this sort of snail trail of positions where the machine has been and then use all of those positions to determine how much work has been done on the work site on a daily basis. So we think we can actually kind of achieve this quantum leap really in worksite tracking by complementing our drone maps with what we're calling Dirtmate and this machine tracking. So for us, like that's a big part of it and it's a totally different technology stack. It's, it's all kind of real-time streams rather than these huge process data sets that we're currently producing. So um, yeah, it's, 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 an exciting, it's an exciting opportunity. And just generally, I think the, the business continues to focus on 
these customers and this problem. And so we'll end up solving it in, in many, many ways that make sense. Wow, incredible. I didn't actually expect you to say that. That That is amazing. You've blown my mind and what a cool extra piece of technology <laughs> that you're going to add to your stack. Finally, as a company that is on the forefront totally. of technology, working with drones and AWS cloud, what do you think will be the most important kind of tech trend of 2021? It's a question we've been asking all our customers this month. So I'm just wondering if you have any, what do you think? <laughs> any ideas around the, the most important tech trend that's going to come up this year? I'm going to take the perspective of our customers. Uh, I'm, I, I, spend, I spend the most time with them. So what we're seeing more and more is traditional industries adopt like technology and the cloud. It's becoming less weird to have things stored online. It's becoming more normal to expect high quality mobile interfaces for almost every application you use. And so I think that's interesting to us because now in 2021, it really feels like that's starting to happen to construction um, where construction I think is has previously been um, a little slower to adopt, and uh, and that 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 is is genuinely exciting. I think we can. There's a few waves that like Propeller wants to be on. One of them being drones. One of them being just construction adopting technology. Um, and and I think it's coming. It's it's becoming time now. Very interesting. Thank you so much. I'm not sure if that answers your question, but no, it that's does. Certainly, it, certainly everyone relates it back to their business, so. Perfect answer. Exactly. Rory, thank you so much for your time today. Um, this is an amazing company and we're so grateful to have you on the show. So to all our viewers at home, thank you and we'll see you next time.